But first, we start with breaking news. A lightning strike causing some injuries. This happened in the Rainbow Curve area along Trail Ridge Road in the Rocky Mountain National Park. Live picture now from our crew heading out to the scene right now. Live in that rainy weather, few details, though, being released. We'll bring you the very latest developments on the DenverChannel.com and, of course, throughout this hour right here on 7 News and on our 7 News app. Clouds building all day long, and right now those storms moving through the state with a big boom on 24-7 weather alert and Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson in tonight. Boy, Mike, that downpour just a few minutes outside our studios. Yeah, it was coming down big time, and it's going to continue to do that in many areas for the next couple of hours. We finally have reached the mid-80s, warm enough to get these storms lit up, and they are going now. You can see them all across the central and eastern part of the Denver metro area. All of the activity today is going from the northwest toward the southeast at about 25 miles per hour. So if it's looking dark to the north and west of where you are, that storm is coming your way. You can see them extending up from the airport all the way up toward Keene right out where they're playing the uh, World Lacrosse games right now at Sports at uh, Dick's uh, Park that we have uh, all the play has been suspended right now and that's because of rain and lightning at the present time same problem they had yesterday afternoon farther to the south scattered storms Bennett Byers down in northern Elbert County Again, all of it moving down toward the southeast. There's a lot of weather off to the west as well. Genesee, Evergreen, Conifer, back to Bailey, and over toward Fair Place, some strong storms. All of these producing a lot of lightning, but this is the big one that is right around Canyon City. We have a flash flood warning in Fremont County, severe thunderstorm there too, intense lightning. We've already had almost, uh, well, almost 4,500 lightning strikes in this area alone just in the last half hour, and also some pretty good cells forming up in Larimer County over toward Greeley.